This is Dave from CJ7. It's one of the coolest CJs you'll see. This one's pretty cool. It's got an LS in it. Um, got a Kingpin Ford front axle. As you can see, it's got our steering arms on it for the high steer. And it's got a WFO low profile truss on there to kind of clear everything a little better. It's our full three link builders kit. So that comes with link mounts, tube inserts, tubing, all the essentials. It's got Fox two and a half coilovers all the way around. It's really nice Jeep. Most of these CJs you see, they're just on lease springs. It's kind of a basic like weekender package. This thing's the full meal deal. It'll take you out on the trail anywhere you need to go. Uh, you come back to the rear here, see he's got our, uh, our limit straps. It's got our full width 14 bolt truss in there. 14 bolt rear axle, obviously. We have it in here for nothing that's super exciting suspension wise, but we're doing a little bit of cosmetic upgrades that have good function to them. So currently he has this, uh, center console in here with not really any storage to it. It's just holding the shifter and some switches. When you're sitting in this thing, his Atlas shifters are kind of up against your legs. So we're going to remedy that switching over to a cable style shift setup for that. Redoing the whole console, bringing it up closer to the firewall. Going to give him a couple of uh, cup holders for adult beverages or what have you. And then coming back to the rear, you got to have something to hold your adult beverages and keep them cold through your trip. So we are going to be doing a cooler rack that hinges off of here, latches on this side, you know, Super simple, keep that Yeti 65 up there high and tight, make sure you're not hitting it on the trail. But that's just kind of a quick walk around of this thing. It's pretty rad and figured you guys might want to get a good look at it, but we'll be showing you the work that we do to it once that's all finished up and have to check it out. So stay tuned. <laughs> Well, been working on CJ for on and off for probably the better part of a month now. It's been a long project, bouncing between rigs, but got it all done. Doesn't really look a whole lot different up front, minus the half doors. That was a quick, easy install we did. You come around back, got the old adult beverage carrier carrier. So this is for a Yeti 65 cooler. Pop this pin out. A little sticky. How much? Pull out, you can get to your tailgate, do whatever you need to do. Keep your beverages nice and secure so that uh, they stay as safe as you do on the trail because of utmost importance, of course. Now, let's kind of set this in here. We come up to the interior. I know we were talking about that center console. That was kind of the crown jewel of what I really wanted to do on this thing. Looks a little different now. We went from small little aluminum box to a slightly larger aluminum box with steel tubing frame. This is all bent uh, three quarter 083 wall DOM that's tied into the dash, tied into a Tuffy console. I had to build some custom mounts to get that in there. Took the Arabi switches off of the original console, put them up into this. Just super simple. When you got your hand here, you got, you know, locker rear front, or compressor rear front. As we were saying, he wanted beverage holders. Just so happens I add that there for him because Got them hanging out in the back. You gotta have them hanging out in the front. They're your friends. You gotta take care of them. Decided to go to a cable style shifter instead of the instead of the linkage shifters he had sitting over here because they were contacting his knee when he was driving. Never really a good time. It's always uncomfortable. So those are over here now. Um, instead of doing the boot through the floor and having that all look kind of exposed and funky, we got just two slots here. So you don't really see any of the mechanism. It's just nice and clean. So when he brought this Jeep in, he had the ignition, which just sends power to the uh, Switch Pros and the Switch Pros jumps off to everything else in the Jeep. Um, it was sitting over here. He didn't really like that. He wanted the original light switch back in there. So we put that in. You got your headlights through that. Still tied into everything. Real kicker. Hooked it up to the dome lights. Now factory, these CJs come with a light under each kick panel. The lights up your footwell. He didn't have those because this thing's not really much Jeep anymore. So, hook some lights up to the console. Lights up when you're getting in in the dark. Can't really see it too well right now, it's kind of bright out, but that was a nice little detail we added for him. And yeah, having the console in there is a little more tidy than what he had before. Really fills up the space nicely. Doesn't take too much of your leg room out. Still fit in there pretty well. And it looks better, it works better. Peace out, wheel safe.